Hey there guys, so the time is about, give or take, 14, 18 hours. And, uh, Enos borrowed the big truck today to move some stuff from, uh, I don't know, from somewhere to somewhere. It doesn't really matter. And for reasons that I cannot begin to understand, decided to drive the truck under the lowest bridge in Kent County. So we're going to go out and find out what the hell is going on. But apparently he's fine. The truck is very not fine. They're towing the truck to uh, our, our regular truck, truck repair place. I would imagine the bridge is fine. But Enos is pretty freaked out and I want to make sure he's okay and I want to see how bad the truck is. So we're going to haul ass over to Bristol and get a look at what's going on. That's everything I know. And that's why it's a tow, because the back end is... And you know it's just had the moment where his <laughs> puckered. Uh, you want to turn this off? No. Are you okay? Yes or no? Hey there guys, welcome to today's Captain Dog. Today's episode is a close shave with Enos. So. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're taking it over to uh, Mason Dynamics. All right, I got a feeling you know right where they're at. Oh, yeah. Cool. So, here's what happened. He's our net. He's our net, and he's got him. So there's the big truck, which you can see is now down to, how tall was it? down to 11 foot 3 inches which is significantly shorter than it was this morning and the reason it's down to 11 foot 3 inches tall is because that bridge is 10 foot 0 inches tall <laughs> so yeah we're having a day so we hauled the truck back to the shop emptied out a big enough spot to work on it for the day. And what we planned on being a rather simple, easy, maybe a day, maybe two days, to just tear the rest of the box off the truck, turned into a rather epic project because of a really weird combination of a whole lot of bolts that are very hard and thoroughly rusted in place and the rest of the truck, the, the box itself, is pretty much entirely made of aluminum, which is really gummy, and you can't really cut it very well with an abrasive wheel or anything like that. There's a right way to do this. There's about 20 wrong ways to do this. And we experimented with everything we could think of and found just about every wrong way to do it. I don't think we ever really hit upon the right way to do it, but we found all the different wrong ways to do it. And when you put all those together with a lot of frustration over about a week and a half, you, you can work it out. So Batman started off with abrasive discs and then went over to the Sawzall, which didn't work really well at all. Because it isn't just the thin sheet metal outer skin. There's a lot of vertical ribs to contend with. And you've got to deal with several different metals along the way from just super easy to cut thin aluminum to hardened steel bolts and the only way to get those off was to destroy the bolts we tried cutting the heads off we tried drilling the heads off we went at them with a torch we tried everything We had to use the forklift to support things and pop off pieces.
we tied off the top of the door to the forklift and put a little tension on it so that when we cut this back here, it didn't like fall back or spring out or anything like that. We wanted to keep it as safe as we could. And here we pop the door apart so that we had a nice clear opening. And Batman grabs a special pair of crimpers and cutters here. We use these just for working with aircraft cable. And he cuts the aircraft cable support. Now we've got everything cut. It'll drop right down. Here's Mikey. Now he's a professional metal worker. That's like he's he's an official for serious union metal worker kind of guy. He helped out on this a lot. And he came up with the idea of drilling out the bolts, which worked really well once we got the knack of it. Mark has drilled out a bunch of bolts. Some of the bolts couldn't be drilled out and we had to just grind them off. See how gummy the aluminum is. The bolt itself is hardened steel, but the box is gummy aluminum. Now once we get all the bolts out of the way, it's time to smack off the main supports up front. Mikey decided to give it a swing with the sledgehammer. The sledgehammer weighs about as much as a minivan on the end of a broom handle. Usually that's a Batman tool, but Mikey was having fun with it. Mikey one, truck zero. Now after getting the side off, we had to deal with the many layers of getting it apart and getting it sectioned. By cutting vertically, we didn't have to really contend with the joists that make up the sides. So Marcus spent a couple nights sectioning it up. And that gets it down into pieces small enough to cart away off to the scrap bin. Now we do the entire process all over again for the other side. Now Marcus just wanted to section off the big wall. We left the lower rail with the 10,000 bolts for a little while. But we needed to get the truck out of the middle of the room so that we could have space to get back to the normal work of the day. There's the last little bit of the sides and the head. And now here's the major part of the overhaul done. Originally we had the truck named Atlas because it carried the weight of the world for the geek group. The truck has since been renamed Flatless. The lift gate and everything worked just fine. We ended up getting that last little bit off as well. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.